In this video, I'm going to give you a little insight into the capabilities of Blender when applied to uh, mathematics or physics, engineering, things of that nature. So for those of you who have those studies behind you, this will be fairly obvious. I have a Riemann sphere essentially right here in the center of the scene. It has a radius of 1. And this is my real axis and my imaginary axis in the complex plane like that here. So even though it says x and y, we know what it really is. And so what I have is this cone, and to the end of it I have this long cylinder attached here. And so what I'm doing with it, let's go back to the beginning here, is I'll start the animation over from the beginning. Basically I'm running the cone on a line. And so what it shows, it shows a mapping of a line in the complex plane to the sphere and it maps to a circle on the sphere. Alright, so let's run it and you'll see what I mean. So there it is there and you can see the transition taking place here on this side. And it goes all the way around. So it's a really, for those of you who haven't studied mathematics to this extent, this essentially what it is is you can take any point in the complex plane and it gives you a way to map all points in the complex plane to this sphere. All right, and it's called the Riemann sphere or Riemann sphere, depending on how you pronounce it. All right, and there's I have this is really just a first pass on how to do it because I have to based on the angle in which this hits it. You can see it gives me a little bit of trouble because the way I'm actually running it. Let's see, it's yeah. You can see if it crosses it at too much of this angle like this, then it you know paints a little bit more than I really want. So I really haven't figured out a way to do it really precise yet because the angle is affecting it based on the object. But I'll get it. I'll figure out a way to do it so it's a precise circle as it maps and then I can be more accurate with my mapping, mappings. Alright, so it's not really a tutorial per se. In fact, for those of you who followed my tutorials, this should be fairly obvious on how I put it together. All right, And I'll be doing a lot more stuff like this because this lends itself to the kind of stuff that I like. In fact, for a lot of mathematics, the only reason I like it is because I like art a lot. And I'm a big fan of M.C. Escher. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next video.